Let's hit that recording button. Hello, YouTube. How are you? If you're watching this on the VOD or whatever. And uh, let's get into the game, shall we? Everything should be working. Hopefully, it looks like it. Hey, we good? Got to create a save game real quick. I can't remember which one this is. <laughs> We've played it for the PlayStation 2 gauntlet. We did play a little bit of it before. But I can't remember... Nope, <laughs> I can't remember which one it was to save my life. Uh, I probably should have spent a little bit of time looking at the box and stuff for it first, but uh, it's fine. Once the save game eventually creates, I'm sure it'll all come back to me quickly enough. It wasn't that long ago that we played it. I am very surprised how long this is taking to create a save game. Holy shit. Get fucked, Xfinity. Your mobile was was here to save the day. I hope it keeps buffering. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. I have literally... I don't know if you're actually able to hear me or not, but I have seriously considered getting T-Mobile internet as a backup. Um, but it's $50 a month, and I, I can't... I could probably... I could technically afford it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But, like, $50 just for backup internet service, I don't know if it's worth it to me or not. But uh, T-Mobile does have, like, 5G unlimited internet uh, for the home. So, like, you know, that's not too bad. $50 is actually relatively cheap. So I have considered getting that as a backup for myself personally. So that whenever I'm trying to stream or just do stuff around the house, I have some sort of internet access whenever x decides to be a dick. Um... But I don't know, man. I, I can't really justify the $50 to myself. And I do have a tiny bit of mobile hotspot that I can use, but only like 10 gigs. Nate, what's up, my guy? Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, dude. The These profiles are loaded, so none of them because it's empty. That took a long time just to make a save, dude. That was crazy. Especially when you consider I do have it set. Like, my official memory card is in slot one now. shoulders for giving evil the chance it needed and therefore fulfilling an ancient prophecy raiden's earth realm champions had failed to stop the deadly alliance from fully resurrecting up a little bit. the mummified army of the dragon king in the end only raiden himself stood between earth realm and total destruction defying the elder god's wishes he alone challenged quan chi and shang Tsung in mortal combat Earth Realm's last hope for freedom. Nate, my guy, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I hope you start to feel better. Have you taken the Rona test, man? You might have the Rona. <laughs> you can't close me some tabs. Hopefully will help, yes. But I was laughing at the, you're going to be low on chat today until the Wi-Fi is back. Because typing gives it a lot to do. <laughs> That's hilarious, my guy. <laughs> oh, I've never thought of uh, chat being, you know, the hard thing to run on a computer. But I guess when your internet's fucked, it's well, fucked, right? two sorcerers. It seemed as though victory was at hand, but the combined might of Quan Chi and Shang Tsung proved to be overwhelming, even for a Thunder God. Raiden was defeated. The Deadly Alliance had won. GG Raiden. Their victory was short lived. As suspicion and lust for power overcame both Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, the former allies turned on each other. The deadly alliance was no more. Oh, wait, is this a sequel to Deadly Alliance? Or is that just like a random call out? Maybe we should have played Deadly Alliance first. 
Oh well. <laughs> Too late now. Quan Chi defeated Shang Tsung and reveled in his conquest. But it is said that there is only one true ruler of Outworld. And that ruler had returned. What? <laughs> oh, no. I thought that dude was dead. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> and so it was that a new alliance was formed out of desperation. Sworn enemies joined forces to combat a greater threat. to realize that even their combined might was not enough to defeat the Dragon King. There was only one chance left. Fucking murder everyone, I guess. Sacrifice was in vain. Not that it matters. For the blast had little effect on the Dragon King. Everyone just comes back now, to life anyways, Oraga apparently. Has what he needs to shape the realms as he sees fit. I was the fool who brought him this power. Only I can destroy this threat. Born of deception. Nice, nice, okay. I somehow do not remember that intro at all. <laughs> I don't know if I skipped it last time or what, but for some reason, yeah, I d definitely do not remember any of that. <laughs> oh god, now that we're out of the cutscene, the game's super loud. Okay, let's turn it down a little bit. Hopefully around there is okay. So again, you won't spoil, but yes, old man is definitely important to Onaga. Oh, sure, it sends that one. <laughs> How have you been typing? <laughs> oh, man. Oops. <laughs> yeah, your internet hates you today, my guy. All right, do we need to change any options? Probably not. I'm assuming it's going to be fine, but... Yeah, we'll leave everything on medium. That's fine. Blood level? Max, yes. Round time so yeah, all that seems fine. Just the default. Any sound or maybe some subtitle options? Subtitle options would be really sick. Uh, I'm going to turn speech up. And turn everything else down just a little bit. Being able to hear what the hell people are saying is the most important part to me, at least, so... E. Uh, I don't think we need to change anything else, unless this has a progressive scan mode. It does! Let's go! Do you want to continue using progressive scan? Yes, please. That should make it a little bit more clear. Uh, it also... Messed up the centering though, so just recenter the screen real quick. I think that's roughly centered. Maybe not perfect, but good enough at least. Oh shit. Alright. Good enough for me, dudes. Let's go. I'm getting a weird pattern on the screen though. I don't know if that's just this game or I did enable a uh a little bit of sharpening. No, no, sadly. 
It's not the sharpening filter. That just must be the game. I'm going to turn down the sharpening just a tiny bit. But anyway, okay. All right. Let's just get into it now. Looks good enough to me. So we have combat, which is classic Mortal Kombat. Chess combat. Perfect blend of classic chess in Mortal Kombat. I, I vaguely remember chess combat. Puzzle combat. Deadly puzzle game Mortal Kombat style. Conquest. Explore the MK universe in this single player mode. Okay, so Conquest is what we want to be playing. That's lace story mode. Profile. Enter code. How do I create? Okay, maybe go to profiles first. There we go. And Tetris. Yeah, dude. Tetris is pretty fun. I don't know how Tetris works on here, but... Um... Enter your name. We are the stream. Uh, not stream three. <laughs> Just why can I? There we go. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure that's my name. Game. Choose our icon. I've always been partial to Sub Zero, so looks good. Enter your code. Yeah, we're just gonna do uh up 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 because otherwise dude i'm totally gonna forget that like <laughs> like i i appreciate the thought of like having locked profiles so if you have like family or something like that um but like at the end of the day what's the point dude you're just gonna end up forgetting your profile code and then you're gonna be screwed also, I can't help but notice now that we put in our profile, the uh, video centering got fucked back up. So, fix that real quick, I guess. Move you down again. Move you over again. Right about there. Oh, I see what's going on. No, I'm just an idiot, dude. I I didn't think it worked that way. Okay, so you have to edit it here. And then there's no save button here, just a back button. But then you have to come here, go off the adjust screen position selector, and then press X to save. That is a weird way to handle it, but I guess it's fine. Okay, now we should be able to go into the Conquest. Oh, anyways, and what I was saying about the profile stuff, and then, like, if you do, as they suggest, and just write your profile code down in the manual, then, like, what's the point anyways, dude? Anyone who gets the game can just read the code in the manual, and then there you go. You're kind of screwed, right? Like, I don't know. Just seems like a weird system to me. I do very vaguely remember what's going on now. Just just barely, but <laughs> there are there is some memory coming back of this. Shang Tsung, I will win the Mortal Kombat tournament and free Earthrealm from your tyranny. Is that so? Then it seems I will need a stronger opponent to defeat the great Kung Lao. Goro, fight! <laughs> Dude's face is literally in his thigh. Not even figuratively, like literally in his thigh. Do I have... 
This pattern on the screen is really bugging me, and I, I don't know where the hell it's coming from. It it must just be... I've never noticed it before, so it must just be the game. But I am gonna... Okay. While we're paused here, I'm gonna just make sure that, like, I don't have any sort of... Yeah, I don't have any sort of thing on messing with it. Weird, dude. But whatever. Mm. Get a drink and... You have what are we doing? Way to go, but every step is a victory. How you maneuver in combat plays as much a part of your strategy as how you punch or kick. Oh, that's right. We have like a bunch of different fighting styles we can switch between and shit. Tapping toward or away from your opponent will guide your movement. Your first exercise will be to step toward me three times, then step away from me three times. Wow, that was that was a rough one, dude. Not I'm not sure this is always the correct path to victory. How much more that we can take. Can give you the space you need to plan your next attack. Be by quickly tapping twice away from your opponent, you can perform a backward dash. Put distance between us by performing three backward dashes away from me. Such wow. Much hype. Know a fighting style like you would know yourself. Let no attribute escape you. Try to strike me once with four different basic attacks to understand their unique characteristics. Okay. Ah, if we hold forward, we like move around them. That's... Often you can perform different attacks with the same button by pressing in a direction at the same time. As we've noticed, for example, pressing toward your opponent while attacking will execute a different attack. Now, Shujinko, <laughs> strike me with each of your high punch attacks. Which one's high punch? Triangle? Okay. Oh, he's telling us what he needs to do. Noise. Next, I will show you attack variations. Some attacks can be executed by combining the directional buttons and an attack button. These attacks will often strike your opponent in different locations. In the Mantis fighting style, the X button will initiate an attack to your opponent's chest. However, by holding back an X, you will attack your opponent's knees. Okay, okay, okay. I I'm going to forget basically all of this because memory terrible and i'm not great at fighting games but sure a mixture of high and low attacks can overcome the defense of even the most determined foe strike me with two high attacks and two low attacks oh, very nice. see it would be a lot easier to learn if it was like X and circle were low attacks, and square and triangle were high attacks. <laughs> Maybe one was like low kick, high kick, and then the other was like low punch, high punch. And then you use the, the arrow keys to just adjust uh, your combos or whatever. Like something like that would be much easier, man, to remember. Of course, then it wouldn't really be like Mortal Kombat, I guess, because, yeah. Mortal Kombat's always been all about those combos. Square punches in the overworld. Circle sits to pass time. Okay. R1 is map. L1 recenters camera slowly. R2, L2 is nothing. Stop resting. <laughs> and triangles menu. Okay. Good, good, good. No jump or anything like that? Can we talk to people? <laughs> we, we can murder them, though. Sorry, dude. There we go. Let's <laughs> just try and talk you to you, my guy. Apep. I heard he was waiting for you. You should find Apep. I heard he was waiting for you. Excellent voice acting, man. 
Sorry, I'm just trying to talk to you. I'm not actually trying to run into you. Oh, I should have taken better care of my teeth. My tooth is causing me so much pain. The local dentist is nowhere to be found. What should I do? Help this v villager cure his toothache? Can I do that just by, like, murdering him? <laughs> he, he won't care about his tooth anymore, right? I mean, <laughs> just, just saying. That seems like one way to deal with it. Coffin key unlocks Scorpion's alt costume. Very cool. Are you the dentist? Hello, young man. Are you... Oh, okay. You can't just, like, fast-forward text. Yet? Uh, I'm assuming that's this guy, where the, the quest marker is. Well, hello there. You look like a nice young man. Please excuse me, but I have to go put my money in a safe place. Okay. Hello. How are you? We have a temple here in the village. When you have proven yourself to us... You will be allowed to enter. How do I prove myself? You must speak to the guards at the temple gate. Okay, I will speak with them. Goodbye. Does the map happen to show us like... Oh, shit. <laughs> My bad. I can't remember how to open the map, that's all. <laughs> Triangle's inventory. R R1, there we go. No. Does not seem to show us for the side missions, at least. For side quests. Bro, talk to me. There we go. Beware, you oh, son of a bitch. I just want to fast forward the text, not completely skip it. I should not be telling you this, but there is an elderly woman in town from whom you can benefit greatly. If you see her, speak with her. The old rich woman? Hello, or the old Chichinko. woman with money? I am sorry, but I cannot let you pass these gates. Master Boraicho is waiting for you. Master Boraicho, who are you? Wait, what? He just disappeared. Is that the same guy that like stole that coin from right in front of us earlier? Hi, are you going to take lessons from Master Bo Raicho? Isn't your name Shujinko? I have heard of you. Hello, Shujinko. I think Apep is waiting for you. Why does everybody sound slightly robotic, man? Hello there. You are Shujinko, yes? I have heard my students speaking of you. I am teaching these young ones the basics of combat, but I think you will learn much more from Master Boraicho. Oh, never mind. That guy actually sounded okay. So hold on. Old lady in town. You're the only old lady I've seen it so far. It is probably not too safe for an old woman to keep her valuables at home. Mm, I'm assuming it's not talking about her then. She doesn't seem to have much to say. Are you a dentist? I am practicing ninjutsu, the art of stealth. Watch me disappear. You will never find me. I was waiting for the hiding boy to just like stand right where he was. <laughs> oh, hello, Shujinko. I lost the key to my house when we were playing Mortal Kombat earlier. If you see my key, please bring it to me. My parents will kill me if someone uses my key to rob our house. I'm the lost key somewhere in the park. You have not. Is the park where where I just was? Like over here? Can we like beat trees to get stuff? No. Can't go behind them either. Oh, hi, hiding boy. You found me. Oh, mysterious key, you say? Did you happen to steal it from some random dude? Were you gonna rob his house? Oh, wait, never mind. That's probably the dude's key. <laughs> well, fuck. Close enough. So what's the mysterious key for, then? Oh, you found my key. Thank you. Now I will not get into trouble. Welcome. Do I get anything for that? No. Then what's the point of the side missions, man? <laughs> if you're not going to give me anything. All right, let's talk to you. Are you Bo Raicho? Hi, you must be Shujinko, the one Master Bo Raicho mentioned. I've seen you around before. 
You and your friends are always pretending to be famous warriors in that park over there. My name is Apep. Master Bo Raicho asked me to show you the other schools where he teaches martial arts. Follow me. No, okay, this is Apep. Fair enough. Do people actually have, like, day-night cycles? Like, do they change their patterns? If you were smart, young man, you would not venture past the gates. I never have. Hello, young man. Will you do an old woman a favor? If I can. I have much shopping to do, but I also need to deliver a note to the blacksmith. I will take it to him, if that is what you are asking. Oh, thank you so much. Here it is. I appreciate this very much, young man. Can we, like, read the note? No. Can't do anything with any of this stuff, really. Hmm. What do you want, Shujinko? I cannot find my brother. If you find him, tell him I am looking for him. My brother is lazy and needs to do his chores. I am not going to do his chores for him. Wake up the sleeping lazy boy. Okay. I am headed back to a safe. Ah, are you leaving because it's laid out? Oh. Or are you just following your like path that you always follow? The clan. Their grand master has the ability to freeze. Wow. What else do you know about the Lin Kuei? I have also heard that they train Lin Kuei warriors just outside the village. If you ever venture past the gates, check to the southeast. Southeast for Lin Kuei warriors. I'll probably forget that. Are you... Old woman? I think oh. you're old woman. Okay, let's just talk to you. Hey, Here it is. This is another of Master Boracho's classrooms. I think he's starting another lesson right now. You should go inside. I will wait for you out here. 7.30 at night? Seems like a weird... Oh. <laughs> well, okay, we'll come back. We can talk to people in the meantime, I guess. Who are you? Oh, Shujinko. The Lin Kuei have been recruiting again. I think my son has been initiated. If you see him, tell him to come home right away. And a woman's missing son. I'm assuming we can't do that until, like, later? Ah, no! Okay, well, so at 8 o'clock, people start going in their homes. At least some people. Shujinko, can you help me? I ate some bad kimchi, and I feel very ill. Before 8 p.m.? Uh... <laughs> Bro, it's already... <laughs> what? <laughs> did, did he die? <laughs> did, we, did we lose? I don't... Ah! Dude, okay. Well. Coffin ND unlocks Bo Raicho Puzzle Fighter. Oh, ow. Dick. <laughs> you could have just asked us to move. You didn't have to deck us, man. What happens if I deck you? No, oh, nothing. None may pass. I'd get Nyquil, drink the whole thing. See how? <laughs> I mean, you could just get a little bit of Dayquil and drink like a reasonable amount. Crazy idea, I know, but uh, I'm just throwing that out there. That is an option, man. You don't have to go straight to knocking yourself out for the next 12 hours. Night or day, we must remain ever vigilant. Is there anyone, like, outside? No, okay. So, like, at 8 o'clock, it seems like everything just kind of stops. So what time do people start coming back out? What was the option I said? Get some day quill and drink a reasonable amount? Just a thought. I mean, you do you, my guy, but... <laughs> uh, okay. Where's the doctor? So you're the sick boy, right? Good thing he came back to life today. I think we talked to you already, right? 
Hello there, Shujinko. How are you doing today? Maybe not. Who are you? Greetings, Shujinko. How are you on this beautiful day? I'm great. Are any of you a doctor or a blacksmith? Be careful. If you break it, you will buy it. Oh, God, no. The gods take a dim view of senseless violence. <laughs> Don't be a dick. How about that? Hello there, young man. Would you like to buy anything? Do you actually sell anything? I should really just ignore you. Then perhaps you will go on your way. I'm, I'm literally trying to buy shit from you, but you're not selling me anything. Have you found the Lin Kuei yet? Watch it. Alright, well, I'm guessing there's nothing we can do, so. Around here, at least. Uh, let's take our class, man. Maybe then we can go to the next part of town, because I'm assuming that's what we gotta do to complete the missions we have. Although the lazy boy might be somewhere, I, I don't know. You think whole bottle's the best option? I mean, I can't stop you, but I really wouldn't suggest it, my guy. Every warrior has the potential to effortlessly link his or her moves into one long attack combination. For example, you can combine attacks by pressing square square in rapid succession. Test your attack combo skills, execute the short form of this combo. You show the makings of a promising student. Oh, many of my pupils would have understood the technique of combining attacks so quickly. Now try the full combo moves. I'm gonna forget all of these combos, dude. <laughs> Might of the power attack. Power attacks do more damage than normal. Most are performed by combining attack buttons with the directional buttons. Perform these power attacks so that I may see that you have learned. Forceful ball kick. <laughs> That's probably my favorite one. I like me a nice forceful ball kick. I will now show you the art of pop-up attacks. These moves will give you the advantage by keeping your opponent in the air long enough to execute a combo. Your opponent cannot block while being popped in the air. This is indicated by his blue fight state indicator light just below his health meter. Like power attacks, these moves are also performed by combining the attack buttons with the directional buttons. Now, show me you understand pop-up attacks. Okay, forward circle. Was it up in triangle? I've already forgotten. Try to follow a pop-up attack with another attack while your opponent is still in the air. This is called juggling. Ah, okay, too fast. Damn, dude. Okay, hold on. You got this. Damn, okay. Keep setting the ground. Hold on, maybe if we get him away from the ball. There we go. Had to time it just right so all three would, three would actually land. Good, you are finished. Come on, let's go to the next class. Possibly a weird question, but why does he do like each class in a different dojo or school or whatever you want to call it. Why not just do all of them in the same one? <laughs> Wouldn't that make much more sense? Like, I I don't know. Hey, do you see that guy down there? I have been spying on him. I think he is a Lin Kuei warrior. I wonder what he is doing. Maybe trying to recruit people? What do you want? I do not have time for foolish chatter. 
I have been instructed to search for able men and women to increase the ranks of my clan. You cannot possibly possess skills worthy of a Lin Kuei warrior. Or you don't even... <laughs> you didn't even give me a chance, you dick. Hello there. You are the one they call Shujinko, right? I am studying the art of meditation. You should too. It will help you in the future. Let me show you how. Pressing the appropriate button will start you meditating. I feel like you should have been in the first area instead of being hidden in the second one here. I am in so much trouble. I cannot believe that I pawned my wedding ring to pay my debts. Now my wife will not talk to me. I do not have enough money to buy it back from the merchant to whom I sold it. But if someone could get my ring back for me, I would gladly reward him with what money I have left. Is he asking us to steal his wedding ring? Poppin GP unlocks Portal Arena. Cool. I know I should not tell you this, but my fellow Shaolin monks believe there is a portal to another realm nearby. Why do you have to keep that secret? Hello there. You look about the same age as my grandson. I think you can learn a lot from him about the benefits of meditation. Oh, yeah. Well, I've already talked to your grandson. Uh, you? Meditation helps to pass the time. Just ask the young man near the bridge. Yeah, they really want to make sure you know how to meditate. Some people say that there is a realm where there is nothing but chaos. Is it worth it to talk to everyone and do the side missions and shit? Instead to get it back? No, I mean, this is true. If you have come for the auction, please step inside. Ah. Uh, I literally can't, but thanks. Uh, there was a dude running around back there. What? Oh, sorry. I was meditating. Such a peaceful feeling. Are you sure? Look like you were walking around, my dude. Be on your guard. Lin Kuei operatives have been known to frequent this street. Yeah, I've seen one of them. We duked it out. No problem. Greetings, young man. Be sure to tell your parents of the auction. It is not far from here. What about this auction, dude? I can't... <laughs> I tried to go. I couldn't. You know, to be proficient in martial arts, one must endure many years of intense training. I'm thinking talking to all these people is pointless, man. Like, it probably gives us unlocks for the main game or something. But, like, do I care? <laughs> it's not like I, I really need to unlock every character, alt costume, or arena, or whatever for the story mode, right? And it's so far, at least, it seems like that's all you really get. Hey, wake up. Your brother is looking for you. <sighs> huh? What? I better get home to do my chores. Or just nothing. I guess that's sometimes an option, too. Steal, kill, or purchase. I'm guessing we're going to have to steal it. Or maybe do something for the guy so that he gives it to us. Uh, okay, so if we go back and talk now, I just want to see if he's going to give us anything. If this dude doesn't give us anything, we're literally not doing any more <laughs> side quests, dude. Where was the... Was it you? Thank you for waking me up. A ninja star? Thank you for finding my brother. Now he can do his own chores. Okay, so it gave us a ninja star. Might be useful someday. Is it though? <laughs> like, what's the point? I'm so confused. I feel like we're just wasting time talking to all these people. So far, nothing that they've had us do actually feels useful. Here it is. Master Bo Raicho says you are interested in becoming a real warrior. If you are going to be the best, you will have to train hard. It is not easy, 
but it is worth go inside to watch the next lesson. I will wait for you. Okay. Next lesson it is. Thank goodness it doesn't take as long to load as it does to save. I will now show you the basics of defense. A defensive warrior can block an attack by holding R2 while his opponent strikes. You must now attempt to block four of my strikes. Oh. <laughs> Wait, am, do you automatically switch your stance? I guess it just changes periodically. So I don't think I was ever actually doing a low block, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Can you do a low block breaker? No, it doesn't seem like it, at least. Ducking below your opponent is an effective tactic to avoid high attacks. Duck under th these three high attacks by pressing diagonally down and away from me on the directional button. Ah, very good. What does diagonally down toward the opponent do? Next in the way to tire out your opponent is to evade his high attacks. Evade three of my punches by quickly tapping up or down on the directional button as I attack. There's not actually, like, any stamina or anything, though, right? Like, I'm assuming the tire out your opponent's thing was just a, a uh, whatchamacallit, a, a flavor. Some, some flavor text. Oh, sir? Can I, can I, sir, I'd like to speak to you, please. Great job. You are getting good at this. Now follow me. I'm guessing we have to go to the next school now. Oh, there's a coin. I mean, look. I may not be hugely into the side quests, but still collect a coin that's right in front. Beyond this bridge, we need to pay the toll to get across. But I have no money. We must find some other means to pay the guard. Get some ham from the butcher to bribe the guard. <laughs> Or I could just pay him. I have money. I heard the guard say that his favorite meal is ham. Just ham? That's <laughs> that's the entire meal. Just eat some ham, dude. I like it. My kind of guy right there. It's my favorite meal, too. Just a giant hunk of ham. You are right. The guard at the bridge must be hungry. Please take this ham to him. That was a nice picture of some ham. Expected it to be like stylized or something, but I'm pretty sure that was just straight up a picture of ham. Ham. I love ham. Thank you very much. Ham is good. I could not agree more. I do not know what you said to the guard, but it worked. He is gone now and we can cross the bridge. Let us go to the next lesson. I think it might be a little late for the next lesson, honestly, my guy. Oh my god, why is it so hard to talk to people? Because <laughs> you don't turn instantly, you have to like walk in a little circle Good day, to turn. young man. Could you please point me in the direction of the martial arts academy? Which one? There's apparently like eight of them. Oh shit, you can go in people's houses? I am sorry, Shujinko, but I have run out of flour to make any pastries. If you could run to my storage room down the street and 
Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. Can we just go in, like, anyone's house? We can't. Maybe only after 8 o'clock, though, because that's when, like, they're in their oh, homes. Man. My dog ran away, and I have not seen him in a few days. Here, okay. What is this? Crypt key Coffin KT unlocks Liu Kang's tomb music. That's cool, I guess. Coffin ON unlocks Kenshi. Oh, wait, a whole new character? That's actually pretty cool. This area is restricted. You do not have authorization to enter. All right. <laughs> Don't need to be so dramatic about it. Door's locked. Baby crying in the middle of the woods? Not weird at all. I'm assuming you're going to be closed. Here we are. As usual, I will wait outside. I've already learned these lessons anyway. Yeah, okay. Fast forward. Just realized we didn't see him like go in or out. So he must have just like fucking slept there, dude. <laughs> just one of his random schools. If you should become an accomplished warrior, you will likely have studied many different fighting styles. Each fighting style has its strengths and weaknesses. Weapons are also frequently used in combat. You will likely have learned to use many during your many years of training. Press the style change button to cycle through your current fighting styles. L1. Weird that it didn't just tell us what that button was. It just said to press the button. Now strike me with an attack from each of your three fighting styles. Slice this dude in half real quick. I like it. To be fair, he told us to use it. Like... All right, hey, pep. You are halfway done. Just one more training room before Whoa, the main school. We're halfway we're there. Whoa. Me. Living on a prayer. All right. Uh, grab the coin. Oh, blacksmith. Uh, eight o'clock maybe. There we go. Hello, sir. I have a note for you. Can Can you talk? What can I do for you? A woman asked me to give this note to you. A note? Let me see that. The note says that the fishermen outside the town have been robbed by a band of brigands. They will need new equipment as soon as possible. I will have to start working right Hey, Noodle. Away. Welcome, love. So again, do I get anything for that? Do I have to... I'm going to run all the way back to this lady and see if we get anything for completing it. I really don't think it's worth doing all these side quests, though. Wait, are you just walking to where you go, or are you someone new? What do you want? I do not have time for foolish chatter. Yeah, I think you're just walking to where you chill at. Can we go in your house? The light's on. No. Lame. Okay, I think... It was an old lady right around here. Maybe you? Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Th literally not gonna... Okay, well... <laughs> yeah, definitely not worth it, dude. We didn't... <laughs> we literally got nothing. For doing that. I think I'm just gonna ignore all these random-ass people now. Just focus on the story. I'm curious what the hell the ninja star does, though. Like, that makes it feel almost like it's gonna be 
worthwhile somehow, but I don't know. Thank you for the five bits, love. Oh, doing your votes now. Oh, my. You're the one that wants the dog. Oh, SpongeBob, that's a new one. Two votes on SpongeBob. Wait, don't we have... Do we only have one SpongeBob game or do we have two? I actually can't remember now. I think I only have the one. I'm getting tired. Go on inside. I will still be waiting for you out here. You voted on one of them before, now you're just voting on them? B what? <laughs> Both of them, okay. <laughs> it's like, what? I voted on one, now I'm voting on them. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I was very confused. It's a well-known fact that when your opponent attacks, he's also vulnerable to your attack. You must be able to recognize this opportunity. Keep your eye on the red fight state indicator light below your opponent's health meter. When it lights up, he is exposed to your attack. He will do more damage to your opponent when the red light is on. Try to dodge my attacks and then counter with another. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna die. Holy shit. His red light was on. Oh, okay, we have like. Oh, no, okay, we gotta do it before. Before we die. Or he dies. Sorry. Oh, that counted? His red light was on. Ah, you bastard. We were one away. His red light was on when I attacked him. At least one of those times. Why do you have to do a full combo, dude? Thank God. <laughs> Good to know, I guess, that it does extra damage or whatever, but holy hell, man. Now duck under my high attack and then counter with an... I muted my mic at some point. Hope that wasn't for too long. Anyways, I was just saying, like, that time it had a, uh, a counter to tell us each time he was going to attack. Why didn't it have one on the, the the volley before that? It's weird. I've already taught you combo attacks. These attacks can do much damage to your opponent. If you should find yourself being attacked by a string of combo moves, you cannot block after the first hit. There is a method, however, for breaking a combo attack. This is what is called a breaker. Breaker is perfor performed by holding block and pressing towards your opponent with the directional button. Try to break my combo three times. That's not the block button. Can we, like, if we're in the middle of getting hit, can we? Okay, yeah, you can do that in the middle of being hit, too. Good to know, good to know. I'm tired too, love. I know the feeling. <laughs> OJ and toothpaste, bro. What the fuck? I'm assuming you just brushed your teeth and now you're drinking some OJ or something and not intentionally mixing OJ and toothpaste. Because that is disgusting, my guy. <laughs> like, what the hell? Any chests? The chests are cool. 
I don't really care for the side quests, but still like the idea of unlocking characters at the very least. You go over here? No. Last stop, the Earthrealm Academy of Martial Arts. Most of us call it fight school. This is where students learn the more advanced techniques. Some of the best warriors in Earthrealm have studied here. I am training in Tai Chi these days, but I hope to learn many more fighting skills. Someday, I want to be the greatest warrior in Earthrealm. I will show the real Shang Tsung who is the best and kick him all the way back to Outworld. Anyway, I have to go to class now, but I will see you later. I hope you decide to join our school. Bye. Weird that you had to specify the real Shang Tsung, not just like a random one. Brush your teeth like an hour ago and just grab some OJ. The taste was still there, but mint toothpaste, so not bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, that sounds disgusting. Minty OJ. I, I guess, I don't know. I'm just not a huge mint person in general, so maybe that's why it sounds gross to me, but... Minty OJ sounds bad as well, like just in general. No, I'm good on all that. Also, an hour? Man, I don't think I've ever had the like toothpaste flavor effect, whatever, last for an hour. It's insane. Many of the skills you have learned can be used together. By combining fighting styles, you will truly become a master of Mortal Kombat. Linking fighting styles together will enhance your attack. Show me you understand by performing these style branching combos. Okay. Nice. Like, not great, but not terrible. Yeah. I got you. Still sounds gross to me, but, <laughs> but I got you. By launching your opponent into the air, you leave your opponent vulnerable to combos. Try these pop-ups. I'm gonna forget all this, dude. I don't know why it's telling me. <laughs> I'm impressed with your aptitude for learning martial arts, Shujinko. But I must put you to the test to see if you truly understand the intricacies of combo attacks. Show me you can perform this advanced style branch combo. How is that any more advanced than the other ones? <laughs> basically the same it was a four button combo it wasn't really any different my guy is this a is that a new area i think it is right we came yeah we came from over there cool The map set up like a chessboard or something. Doesn't show it here, but it must be just based off of the like the top corner there under the compass where it shows like B1, B2, A2, etc. Two hundred sapphire coins. Uh, I don't know who you are. I don't care. music coffin cc beetle lair music get wrecked excuse me thank you coffin hb unlocks yang yang puzzle arena i wonder like the gold chest can we only unlock that because we have the mysterious key or something I don't know. It just feels like there should be something special I about the Shujiko, gold chest, but... but I cannot let you pass these gates. Why not? The walls of this town are here for a reason. To protect the citizens from foreign dangers. You are too young and inexperienced to venture outside. Return when you can prove to me that you have learned enough and I may let you pass. Yes, Master Boraicho. I will continue my training. Greetings, Shujinko. Who? What are you? Do not be afraid. I am Damashi, 
I am an emissary of the Elder Gods. The Elder Gods? Yes. They are the powers that made this world possible, as well as many others. I have come to you on their behalf because they need your help. What kind of help do gods need? The Elder Gods are in need of a champion, one who could complete a quest to save the realms. Shujiko, will you accept this quest to save all that exists? You will be a true hero. What if I refuse? Then I will find another. One of your friends, perhaps. The one who pretends to be Shang Tsung. No, not him. I will be your champion. What must I do? You must traverse the realms in search of items of great importance. But Master Bo Raicho will not let me outside the walls of the town. Not to worry, Shijinko. I will bestow upon you a great power. The ability to absorb the fighting skills from any fighter you encounter. This will give you the edge you will need on your quest. Go now. Return to Master Bo Raicho and show him you are an experienced fighter. I will, Damashi. Thank you. I will not let the Elder Gods down. Thank you, Random Glowing Light. Back so soon? I thought you had returned to the school. I am ready to prove that my combat skills are good enough. Oh, very well, Shujinko. Show me. And we proceed to kick his ass. You and Sierra caught up on The Last of Us. Hell yeah, dude. Do you like uh, episode eight? I'm a... Uh, I love the show. I absolutely love it. But I'm a little bit upset that they're only doing nine episodes. I really wish they would have done like a 10 episode season or, or more. It's just I just want more of the show, you know? I don't want to have to wait a year to watch more of it. Or at least a year, probably. I highly doubt that you could have learned enough from the few lessons I have taught you. Spar with me to prove your skills. One. Fight! Ow. You were thinking 12? Yeah, no, it's it's only... It's only 9, sadly. At the end of uh, that last episode, they showed a, a preview of the next one. And they said, like, it's the final episode. Not exactly a good win, but we won. <laughs> I was trying to do some of the combos, but I, I can't remember how any of them work. Like, There's probably like the list of combos if we wanted to look it up, but do I care that much though? You know what I mean? Eh, probably not. Anything hidden? Yes, chest. Gold coins. I wonder what the different colored coins are for. Because I'm sure each one means something. Or is used for something different. Is there anything all the way hidden back here? Or is it just empty? It's just empty. Cool. Glad we spent the time to run all the way back around there. Uh, you know what? Let's just talk to you. Oh, I am most impressed, Shujinko. I had no idea you possess such an aptitude for martial arts. I have no doubt that you will be able to handle yourself in the outside world. Thank you, Master Bo Raicho. You show great potential. I... I would very much like to train you myself. Perhaps I can mold you into the next great defender of Earthrealm. Train me personally? I would be honored. But first I have tasks to complete outside the gate. Not a problem. I train all my advanced students at my home down the road. Meet me there later and we will resume your training. I will see you there. Goodbye, Master Bo Raicho. Goodbye, Shujinko. Give me a warning for episode three, but no warning for at least backstory. What the hell? 
Uh, don't get me wrong. Like episode three was a little bit sad, but I didn't think it was even close to episode three, man. Personally, like. <laughs> Episode 8 is fucking fantastic, though. You mentioned that you watched that one. I loved that one, dude. Really, really good. Episode 3 is probably still my favorite, but yeah. Yes, Damashi. The power you gave me to copy other warriors worked well. I really felt as if I could fight like Master Bull Raicho. He was so impressed that he offered to train me personally. Excellent. There is much you can learn from him. But first... You should begin your quest. You must find six items of great importance. The Kamidoku. Think of them as tools of the gods. There is an impending doom that threatens the survival of all the realms. With these tools... What you know about that impending doom? This menace. Where do I, find I get that sense all the time. <laughs> they have been scattered throughout reality. Each one lies hidden in a different realm. The Elder Gods are unable to retrieve these items themselves, and therefore must elect a champion born within the realms to collect them. They have constructed portals and the Nexus to aid their champion in his quest. What is the Nexus? Where do I find it? Once you have found the first Kamido, I will show you what to do. Until then, good luck with your search. Thank you, Damashi. Thanks, my guy. They both fucked with you equally. But yeah, episode is good. See, I, like I said, I don't know. Episode 7? Whatever it was. Ellie's backstory is sad, but I don't know. It didn't mess with me nearly as much as 3, dude. 3 was a real, uh, pulled on the heartstrings for sure, dude. Real tearjerker. Okay, so there's, so this is just like the town, but more open. Is it still the same map? That dude just disappeared. No, it is not. The portal's in white. The mission's in green. So wait. Should I be exploring, or should I just go straight to the mission right now? Because, like, Damashi told me I should complete my quest, or work on my quest, or whatever, but... The game's literally telling me to go to what's his name's house? Oraisho. That really looked like you could walk through it over there. Kind of annoyed that you couldn't. There are chests everywhere. I think I'm just gonna follow the main quests, man. So I still don't even know. I'm assuming these coins are just for buying stuff because like if we go to the main menu there's that whole i can't remember what it's called crypt or whatever maybe you spend the coins there very confused on why there's like a bunch of different colored coins though Did i already open that chest yes let's just go to bo raisho's house man grab the coins i see on the way And chests. Onyx coins. Hold on, can we save? I'm gonna open this chest and then I'm gonna see can, if we can save. Because I wanna go back to the main menu. Yeah, save and quit. Yes. Because I'm very curious what these coins are actually all for. And at least so far, we can't use them in the main game. So it's gotta be something on the main menu. Presumably the crypt. Or maybe content with a K. Okay, yeah, different things. Use key CC. Oh, the keys we collect. It doesn't just like automatically unlock the stuff. We actually have to, like, go to it and unlock it. Weird, but okay. Oh my God. Does it really need to autosave before each one, man? <laughs> that makes it take so much longer.
Hopefully our inventory space is infinite, because I don't know if I'm going to want to keep coming back here and doing this. <laughs> Why so many different coins, dude? I guess maybe it makes certain things harder to unlock. Like, maybe blue coins are only for skins. And then, like, the onyx coins are only for new characters, etc. I mean, that would make it... You know, they could, they could hide the onyx coins more so that it's harder to unlock new characters, since presumably there's less of those. I'm just guessing here. I don't know. Can she? Hold on. Can we unlock PP? No. <laughs> Lame. Okay, I think that's all of our keys. Uh... Okay. I don't know what this is, but we'll unlock it. Okay, Deadly Alliance commercial? <laughs> really? <laughs> OP? You know we gotta unlock that OP, dude. Production art. Okay, so I want to find another blue one. Is this art again? Yes, okay, so I'm assuming blue is always art. What is green? Also art. Standard forward kick, don't kick high. Okay, what is red? Is it is it also art? Is it or is it just completely fucking random? I thought it would be split into categories, but obviously not. We got coins. We spent coins to get coins. Son of a bitch, dude. Are all the reds like that? Where's another red one? Oh, here's an onyx one. Let's try that. What's onyx do? Yeah, I, I legitimately think it's just random, man. So the best thing to do would probably be to just, like, look up a list online of what's in each tomb or coffin or whatever. And then just open the ones for, like, the new characters or the skins that you want or whatever. It'd also be helpful if there was just, like, an auto-buy option or something. Like, just buy all of the stuff you can afford. In order or something. I don't think we've spent gold coins yet. Let's try that. And then I think I'm done. With this. We'll go back to the story mode. Yeah, just art again. Okay, yeah. Nope, I'm done. Wait, where'd she go? Wait, this is a fancy one. Are the fancy ones maybe something different? No. I guess not. That one's a lock. Legitimate. I'm I'm actually done now after this one. <laughs> I just wanted to double check that like the pretty ones weren't something different. No, okay. Freaky just meant done in general. Yep, we done. We quitting. It was a good run, guys, but this is it. <laughs> Conquest. 
I wonder if it'll save our position or if we're gonna have to like run all the way back to uh Bo Raisho's house. Hey, it did save our position. Awesome. So we probably don't need to worry about picking up the coins either then, to be honest, because, yeah. Jingle. It is good to see you again. As promised, I will now impart to you my most powerful techniques. I am honored, Master Bo Raicho. I train my most promising students here at my home, away from prying eyes, to assure that my secrets are known only to those I trust. Now, let us begin your training. I'm sure there's some cool stuff in the tombs. But if it doesn't help me with the story mode, then I don't really care. <laughs> like, because it's not like I'm playing the game multiplayer with my friends or anything like that, right? Like, I don't need to have all of the costumes or characters or whatever unlocked. Your next lessons will encompass sumo high attacks. Rib slap cheap shot. Ooh, that's a kick in the balls. Low attacks. Down square. Grab kick. Step kick. Sweeping kick. You have to clock back in. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you for stopping out, love. Love you too. Sumo also utilizes power and pop-up attacks. Is there a fighting style that doesn't have pop-up attacks and power attacks? I just assumed all of them utilize those things. Hey, thank you for another five bits before you go. Appreciate you. Advanced combos. Damn it, okay. Damn it. I, I hit him with the first and last attack, but not the middle one. There we go. Now, Shujinko, you begin your training with drunken fist high attacks. Oh, that one doesn't have a name? I like seeing what the names of the combos are. They're kind of funny. <laughs> Next lessons will teach you Drunken Fist low attacks. Serving Fist. Twisting Flask. Monkey Kick. Sweet Kick. Use the power and pop-up attacks of Drunken Fist. Battle Punches. Spinning Kick. Drinking Wine. <laughs> Why is that drinking wine? Literally knocking someone into the air. Combos. Twist of line. Crushing grapes. Crazy monkey. Have you learned the basics? Move on to advanced. Mission complete. Nice. I feel like I'm at least getting a little bit used to how, like, the timing for the combos to put them in. The last year, high attack training will cover the fighting style of Jujutsu. Hand thrust. Home run swing. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, very good. The Jujutsu basic low attacks will also aid you later in your journey. Pelvis hit. Look more like I hit him in the face, I'm not gonna lie. Correct. Like the idea of it, instead of using a sword, you just beat people with a stick. Like. <laughs> 
Oof. Up the stick. Yeah, it's really thrown these combos and fighting styles at me too quickly, man. The game... I mean, having the variety is nice or whatever, but I almost feel like you should pick a style at the beginning of the game or something like that. And then that's what you should be using for, like, at least half the game, man. Like, with the, the tutorials just hammering home all of the techniques for that one fighting style. Because uh, I, I guess it probably would have been a lot harder to make the game that way. You know, to have it set for every fighting style to different lessons for each one over and over again. But, uh... For someone like me whose memory is terrible and, again, is not great at fighting games, that definitely would have got the point across a lot better. Hammered it, like, into my head. This is how you play this character. Or fighting style, or both, I guess. There are basic combos within the Jujutsu fighting style as well. Cheap stick. Home run again. Dancing stick. Frosty branch. very good. You can do it all. I mean, I'm sure I technically can, but not gonna be well, you know? Stab that dude in the face. Should like take the stick and sharpen the ends of it a little bit at least. branching combo I do think that's a really neat mechanic though whenever you switch your uh, fighting style in the middle of a combo that it just like keeps the combo going but with whatever you switch to it's kind of neat finally show me that you can handle this last combo wonder what the longest combo you can do is in the game or if you could just, like, string them together forever. Special moves can change the tide of battle. Okay. Belly bash. Weird. Okay, so you, like, jump forward and bounce off of them backwards. Uke puddle. Nice. <laughs> That's fucking gross. I guess I probably have to hit him with it, huh? So it's basically Sub-Zero's uh, ice on the ground move. <laughs> it has a name, but like... Earthquake. Oh, very nice. How does that actually hurt anyone? You're just stomping on the ground. Lucky flips. You're not actually attacking me. I've taught you much, Shujinko, but for your final test, you must fight me. One. Fight. That was, <laughs> that was terrible, but whatever. We won! <laughs> is there a round two, or is it just a one-time? Guess we just had to win one time that one on that one. Shujinko trained with Master Bo Rai Cho, learning the combat skills he would need later in his life. Five years passed before Bo Rai Cho felt convinced Shujinko was ready to venture on his own.
We go back to town now. Is that sick kid still waiting for his medicine? <laughs> Five years later, like, dude, that kimchi, though. <laughs> Congratulations, Shuchinko. You have completed your training. It has always amazed me how quickly you learn. You have excelled far beyond my other students these past five years. It is as if you have been granted a gift by the Elder Gods themselves. Uh, about that. I'm grateful for your kind words, Master. And I am grateful for all that you have taught me. You have learned much as my pupil, but my training can only take you so far. Experience is the ultimate teacher. To further your training, you must venture into the world. Through your journeys in this realm and others, you will attain enlightenment. May I suggest, for your first adventure, that you help me find my warrior's medallion. I seem to have lost it. Very well, Master. I will help search for your medallion. May I ask where you saw it last? I seem to recall having it a few nights ago at the docks. Perhaps you can begin your search there. I will stay here and look around the house. Farewell, mm. Shuchinko, and mm. good luck. Farewell, Master Boraicho. So we trained for five years, <laughs> and our first warrior's quest, as he put it, is to find his lost medallion. Seems legit. Uh, which way is the docks? Probably the way the compass is pointing. That would make the most sense, eh? Can we run faster by any chance? No. Oh, oh yeah, okay, that's what R2 does. If we hold R2, we run, dude. We freaking zoom in. I know I said I wasn't really worried about the coins, but if I'm gonna be walking past them anyways, this I mean, the might as well grab it, right? Baraicho mentioned. I should ask if anyone here knows what happened to the medallion. Uh. Okay, good. There are people. Excuse me, but have you seen Master Boraicho's warrior's medallion? He says he last remembers having it somewhere around here. Oh yes. He left it here a few nights ago when we were drinking Outworld wine on the dock. I put it in my waterhouse for safekeeping, but some brigands attacked me and stole the tackle box in which I kept my key. Attacking an unarmed fisherman? What cowards. Indeed. Now I am locked out, and I cannot retrieve the medallion for you. Is there anything I can do to help? If you could get my key back from the brigands, I could get you the medallion. They usually do not stray far from the beach. I will return with your key, fisherman. And these brigands will know the fist of Shujinko. I thank you, young man. Uh, who is Shujinko? Me? <laughs> Literally, the dude you're talking to, my guy? How have I spent five years in town, seemingly with some of the friends of Bo Raicho, and yet they don't even know who I am, dude? Have I been literally locked in that dude's house for five years? Question mark. Oh. Nello, what's up, my guy? Hello, hello. So the question mark just like random? Would you happen to have seen the old fisherman's tackle box? That old fossil? Perhaps he should keep a tighter hold on his possessions. Wait. Do you admit to taking it? What business is it of yours? The only way he will get his tackle box back is if he can take it back. He is much too old and weak to do that. Keep to your own affairs and you will live a lot longer. Can I fight you now? Watch where you are going. Do I punch him to... Oh. Man, I thought it was going to be like an actual fight, not just <laughs> a single punch from the on the overworld here. You're doing exceptionally well. That's awesome, my guy. Maybe got to bring down your adrenaline a bit. Oh, no. <laughs> what happened that you got to bring your, your adrenaline key. down? The brigands will not likely harass you further. Splendid, young man. Come inside and you will find the medallion. In the house we go. It's a weird medallion, a very large medallion. Thank you, young man. When you see Bo Raicho, tell him I will drink him under the table when next we meet. 
Been to the cinema to today to watch the latest Demon Slayer movie. You're mentally exhausted in the most satisfying way imaginable. That's awesome, man. One of these days I'll watch Demon Slayer. It's on my, my long ass list of anime to watch. Greetings, Shijinko. It has been five years since you began your quest for the Kamidou. Have you made any progress? I am afraid not, Damashi. But I have learned Master Boraicho's fighting styles, and I have recovered his lost warrior's medallion. I was on my way to return it to him. I see. That is quite an impressive artifact. I suggest you keep the medallion for yourself. Do not return it to Boraicho just yet. Such an item will give you credibility among master warriors. I will do as you ask. Good, very good. I must leave you now, but you will see me again. Good luck on your journey. So wait, he's just telling us to steal the shit? Where's my main quest though? All the way over there, okay. Now what happens if we go back to Bo Raicho? Do we just lie to his face? About having found it? I don't know. I mean, we could run back over to him and see, but I don't 100% know where he's at. I'd have to look at the map again and... Man. <laughs> that just seems like too much work, man. I'm just gonna follow the giant green light in the sky. No snow? Covered in snow. <laughs> I mean, it is the, uh, the base of, like, the, the Sub-Zero tribe clan, whatever the hell they're called. So I guess it makes sense. Maybe they're creating the, the snow here, but, like, yeah. Hello, Red Cloak dude. Who are you? I will only speak with those who have been initiated into the ways of the Lin Kuei. Okay. Glowing green dude, then? Stop, infidel. Only great warriors are allowed to enter the Lin Kuei temple. I am a great warrior. I have been personally trained by Master Baraicho and have been awarded the warrior's medallion to prove it. Warrior's medallion? You are truly worthy of the Lin Kuei. We could use a warrior with your ability. Step inside and you will be trained to fight as a Lin Kuei. Your teacher will be none other than Sub-Zero himself. Ah, shit. Here we go. During a certain climatic moment, you might have forgotten to breathe. Holy crap. <laughs> if that counts as positive or negative, you don't know yet. You just had to get that out of your system. Holy shit, dude. Sub -Zero. Sounds like uh, I need to get on the whole watching it thing. <laughs> the series as a whole. Because, yeah, I haven't seen any of it yet. So, jumping straight into the movie, whichever one it was, probably not the best idea. Greetings, Initiate. I am Sub-Zero, your instructor. Your Lin Kuei training begins with Shotokan basic high attacks. Kick to the nuts, kick to the stomach, kick to the head. Got it. Graduated to low attacks. Okay. Lower knee, low snap, low strike, low shin. And Quay are defined by their strength. Learn these Shotokan powers and pop up attacks. Look at elbow, mountain punch. Nice. Rising jackhammer. Oof. Big oof. Learn much. You're only halfway there. Cold as ice. King's. That was cool. <laughs> Cold feet. Actually, just a kick in the nuts, dude. Well done. Uh, also, that texture is broken. Give Master Lin Kuei basics. Let's see how you fare with more advanced combos. Can you just teach me how to, like, make ice? Damn it. There we go. Yeah. 
uppercut to the nuts that's probably my favorite. That's how I fight, man. Just <laughs> dragon fighting style. Back into strike, sun fist, roundhouse. Acceptable. Low attacks. Allen, one dragon. Front stomp. You pass. It was advertised as a movie, but in reality, it was just three episodes that follow each other put together without any editing whatsoever, including all the respective credits. Really? You would have. God damn it. <laughs> like, at the very least, remove the credit sequence between each of the episodes, right? And then just have one longer one at the end. <laughs> Opening endings played three times. That's insane, man. That's crazy. <laughs> is it part of like the main series, the three episodes? Or so like if you watch every episode of the show and then watch this quote unquote movie, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Double yes, that's crazy, dude. Ooh. We even get a camera perspective change with that one. Nice. Dragon basic combos. Yielding fire. Tiger and Kid. Acceptable. Glad you find it acceptable, Sub Zero. Don't know what I'd do without you. Ice pop. Uh, I was excited. When I saw ice pop, I thought we were going to turn him into an ice pop. That's what I'm training with you for, my guy. Said the quarry blade techniques were difficult. Feel like it's going to be basically the same as all the other ones. <laughs> So far, no single style seems to be any harder than the others. It's just, you know, the same sort of combos. Okay, this part's a little bit harder. There we go. Oh, oh. Wait, are we actually going to juggle him now? Okay, yeah, this is where it starts to get difficult. There we go. So it goes like this. You heard of a new Demon Slayer movie screening in different theaters where you live. You had never watched beyond four episodes of Demon Slayer before. Watched everything from start to finish. 42 episodes in three days? Holy crap, man. Considering each episode's probably, we'll say 20 just to make it easy. That's 840 minutes of Demon Slayer in three days. That's five, six, eight, eight hours? <laughs> like, no. Yeah, basically eight hours. You're okay? I... <laughs> Okay, I'll take your word for it, my guy. <laughs> Doing fine, I swear. Ah, <laughs> uh. oh, damn it. Wait, we probably have to be on this one to do it. There we go. Lead another Ling Kuei style branching combo, okay? Aw, oh, damn it. Which one am I supposed to be on to start? I'm guessing this one. Or not. 
Damn, dude, I keep pressing circle. All right, <laughs> that is a long combo. I was asking, I wonder what the longest combo is. I feel like we're getting closer. Might be using a new breathing technique and your pen changes color the moment I pick it up, but I'm doing fine. I, I am very confused. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, here we go, freeze ball. There we go. That's what I wanted to learn, my guy. Well done. Their Demon Slayer references. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I do want to watch it one of these days, but there's a couple series I have to watch, or I might have a couple people for like first, or I might have a couple people murder me. Because I've been telling Chocobo forever now that I watch Machina Bridge, which I haven't watched that yet on YouTube. And uh, Nate, I don't know if he's still around, but he's been wanting me to watch Tokyo Revengers. I'm pretty sure it is. He's been wanting me to watch like forever now. And I haven't gotten around to it. Tokyo Revengers, yeah, I thought so. Very nice. But Demon Slayer is on my list. It's been on my list for quite a while. This next special attack isn't quite as easy. It's literally a two-button combo. Three, I guess, if you count the forward circle as two buttons. Why is this not... There we go. I don't know why that one wasn't working for me. Oh, you sent that after I said I'd be murdered. That makes sense. Why is this one... Is my controller broke? That one does not want to work sometimes. Do they not ask questions about me just, like, literally transforming into them? Like, combat skill is one thing, but the ability to literally turn into someone else seems a little, uh... I don't know, I'd have some questions. You have finished your training. You are now a Lin Kuei warrior. For your first assignment, the Grand Master has commanded that you join our forces to the West. They have reported finding an unknown artifact that may greatly benefit our clan. We must secure it before our rivals do. Your password is Ice Dragon. Go now. Do not return until you have succeeded in securing the artifact. As you command. Do you maybe want to rethink your password there? Anybody who knows even a tiny bit about the Link Way would probably have an easy time figuring that one out, my guy. Ah, a fellow member of the Order. Well, Initiate, you may have proven yourself to the Master, but you have hardly proven your loyalty to the rest of us. The Lin Kuei are feared throughout this province for their prowess and stealth. A rival clan of ninja is attempting to secure a foothold here. They must not be allowed to succeed. If you wish to prove your worth to the rest of us, you must find and remove these would-be adversaries from the countryside. Only then will you secure a place among the Lin Kuei, bringing proof of success. If you are able. Find, defeat the I didn't see Shira something or another. Meh. <laughs> if it becomes my main quest, I will, but I can't, there doesn't seem to be any real benefit to the side missions other than unlocking stuff in the crypt, so meh. I think I'll just skip it. Uh how do we get over there? Oh, okay, we're, we're going the right way. Bridge, and then just follow the river? Lake? Whatever this is. The body of water that is next to me. I wonder where I am supposed to meet these Lin Kuei. It must be somewhere right around here.
Uh, in the woods? I didn't expect to have to study. Or not study, like, to find them. Are they hiding over here in the town? Is it a time thing? Maybe? Or not? Well, no one ever seemed to show up, so maybe not. Uh... I wonder where... Just our medallion, mysterious key. Is there a way for us to see, like, what our mission is? Is there any hints in there? No. Oh, maybe in this school right here? Or temple or whatever this is? Greetings, young man, and welcome to the Temple of the Order of Light. I am Wu, humble monk and head of this order. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this most noble monastery. Through the teachings of the Shaolin and Wushu masters, we attempt to educate the members of our local communities in ways of defending this realm from the unspeakable evil that lives beyond the veil between worlds. I only ask that you please leave the monks to their meditations and do not disturb them as they walk about the grounds. Okay. So, I'm guessing that's a no. <laughs> I'm very confused. Oh. Do you guys have anything to say? That'll help. Don't distract me by babbling about your petty problems. Okay, I guess that's a no. Violent behavior will not be tolerated on the grounds of this temple. <laughs> hmm. Is it like something super obvious that I'm missing? Oh, wait, is that a cave? Bro, there's a fucking cave and oh, a person right the there. Word? Ice dragon. Uh, Excellent. You must be yeah, it was obvious, and I am for, stupid, that's and all. And a new recruit, if I am not mistaken. You are just in time. There are red dragon not far from here, and they know we have this item. Take it to the Lin Kuei Temple. We will distract the red dragon to aid your departure. I will leave at once. Weird that you're trusting the new recruit to the artifact, like... Seems more like you should have been carrying the ar artifact back, and uh, I should be distracting the people, but whatever. Oh yeah, the movie was just a way to watch the first episode of the upcoming season 3 early. Ah. Dimashi, I have joined the Lin Kuei. Way to watch those two so you could experience them on the big screen. I got you. you carry. Yes, it is as I suspected. Through the ignorance of the Lin Kuei, you have acquired the Earth Realm Kamidoru. I have? You must find the portal to the Nexus. When it opens, walk through to continue your quest. But the Lin Kuei... Must I remind you that your loyalties are to the Elder Gods, not to the Lin Kuei. Continue with your appointed quest. Yes, Damashi. I understand. I don't know if I trust this Damashi dude, but it's one of the best decisions of your life. There were people calling these episodes the most hype-inducing animation in history. You might agree, maybe second place. You've seen a lot of anime. Oh, God. I'm going to have to watch it. <laughs> well, the series first, obviously. Again, wouldn't do much good to go straight into the movie, I feel like. Missing, uh... You said that was the upcoming season three early. So, yeah, missed the first two seasons worth first. Doesn't sound like the best idea. I have to check. I'm pretty sure they're on uh, Crunchyroll is what I normally use to watch anime. I'm pretty sure they're on there. If not, then... I mean, I also have, like, Netflix and all that, too. It's bound to be on one of the services I'm on. I know this is the wrong way. I was just curious if there's anything over here, but... No. Okay. Doesn't look like it. You don't want to overhype the stuff. Everyone has different types taste i mean this is true this is true um but no i i generally like 
anime. Like, there's not very anime I've watched that I haven't been able to get into. Except for Naruto. <laughs> Naruto is probably the only, like, big name anime that I just could not get into. And for me, it was because of the amount of just, like, filler and how slow some things were sometimes. And I mean, like, I can deal with slow anime to a certain degree, right? I, I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z, and I really like Dragon Ball Z, you know, where they'll stand in one spot yelling at each other for 20 minutes straight. So, like, <laughs> slow is not the end of the world, but I, I don't know. I don't know what it was with Naruto. I just could not get that into it. I'm still trying to finish the series one of these days, but... I'm um, roughly episode like 130 or something, 100 and something, and uh, haven't haven't watched any more since. Shujiko, raise high the Kamidogu. Enter the portal. Auto saving, cool. So wait, are we like in a whole new realm now or whatever? Or oh, are we going to the Nexus? That makes sense. What what is this place? This is the Nexus, constructed by the Elder Gods to aid their champion on his quest. To save the realms. To aid me? These portals lead to each of the realms that conceal the Kamidogu. Each time you recover a Kamidogu, you must return it to the Nexus and place it on that altar. Doing so will unlock the portal to the next realm for you to search. Which portal will open first? Place the Earth Realm Kamidogu on the altar and you will know. It would seem that the Elder Gods wish for their champion to search the Nether Realm next. I must warn you, it is a dark and evil place. I will be on my guard. Seems strange to have us go straight into basically what is hell. <laughs> like, couldn't start us off with an easier dimension there, dude? Or realm, as they call it. Story's rather lightweight. It's mostly a fun and hype-inducing watch with lovable characters. Nothing too complex. That's what you were expecting, so you were more than satisfied. I mean, the whole reason it's been on my list forever for me to watch is because it looks really good, right? From what I've heard and the little bits that I've seen of it, it looks like a great time. So I'm sure I will really enjoy it whenever I do get around to watching it. Just don't know when that'll be. This place... It feels dark. As dark as every heart that inhabits it. Normally, your presence here would not be possible. Only evil resides in the Nether. So how is it that I am here? Perhaps your time with the Lim Kuei has left a small stain of corruption on your soul. Corruption? But you must not dwell on that. What is important is your quest. Most likely, the Nether Realm Kamidoba will not be found within the walls of City. You must venture deep into these wretched flames of hell if you are to recover it. This is not going to be pleasant, but I will complete my task. I mean, they had to go straight into the maybe you're just an evil bastard take. They couldn't have just been like, yeah, the gods are protecting you. That's why you're allowed to be here. I don't... <laughs> Come on, dude. Are you guys any more interesting than the Earth Realm people? You react the same to being punched. <laughs> you talk backwards? Do all of you talk backwards? Oh. If interrupted Shang Tsung's journey in the nether room, will you defend yourself against his wrath? Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize that was Shang Tsung. My bad. I just wanted to say hello, dude. I was curious if you talk backwards or not. Uh... I guess we got to fight him. Can we change forms? Oh. 
Fi Shang Tsung while he's healing and before you bleed. Wait, why am I bleeding to death? Fight! I guess just to make it harder, but like... Holy shit, dude. <laughs> This is, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's not part of the story, so I assume we don't have to do it. It's probably just for some sort of bonus, but this is sudden increase in, uh, oh, okay, yeah. Oh my god, we're so fucked. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hit him. <laughs> Flawless victory. Ooh. Switch to sword. That's that was the plan, but it did nothing. Yeah. Well, again, that wasn't part of the story. That was probably just for some sort of bonus. So I'm just gonna pretend like we never talked to him. It's fine. We'll just uh go the way the gods want us to go. How about that? Not fight, you know, Shang Tsung, who's damn near god himself. Uh, on we go. Oh. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> Hello, do you speak backwards? Greetings, mortal. I no. am Shinnok. Okay. I was unjustly imprisoned in this realm many ages ago. I seek a lost amulet, my means of escape. The sorcerer Quan Chi sent word that he had left it somewhere in this city. I will grant you a large sum of coins if you return it to me. Nah, I don't really want to, to be honest with you. You look a little evil, my guy. Not to judge a book by its cover or whatever, but... I don't know, dude. I think you might be here justly after all. I am Shujinko. Pardon my intrusion, but you do not look like a demon of the nether realm. I am Ashra. I was once like the others. Mm -hmm. Before I found the means to purge myself of the evil taint that permeates all who reside here. By slaying demons with an enchanted sword, I will gradually transform into a being whom this realm cannot contain. Eventually, I will be free. And how is it you exist in this place? You do not seem to belong here yourself. I am from Earth Realm. I see. Be warned, Shujinko. The Nether Realm is quite hostile to outsiders. If you are to survive against its denizens, you will need special skills. I offer to train you in the art of combat that will be most effective here. I accept your most gracious offer, Ashra. Then let your training begin. Did we ever tell her our name? Like, she used our name, but I don't remember mentioning it to her. Even on a binge grind like you did, actually, that lightweight story might have been your saving grace. You started dreaming about that shit from the binge. To your last message, just shut enough about Demon Slayer. You can see it sticks and won't let go for any moment or for a moment. You're welcome to talk about it as much as you want, my guy. I can't participate a whole lot in the talking about it just because I've never seen it. But it doesn't bother me one bit, dude. Low attacks. Honestly, the Good whole work. story single player mode thing here is, seems like it's more or less just a uh, tutorial for the main game. Like how to play the different characters. Because when we're playing as ourselves, at least so far, um, we can't like pick what character or fighting style we're using. Like, basic combos. It's not the music I expected for this area, but I'm kind of into it, not gonna lie. Shit. Yes, that's right. You haven't watched it either, or you'd be chiming in. Kind of surprised you haven't watched it, to be honest with you, Nate. At least, like, partially. Excellent work. I just know you've watched a lot more than I have, and Demon Slayer, it may not be the most popular anime, but it's one of the more popular ones. Uh, 
you're not one to spoil, that is always appreciated, regardless of the topic. Heavenly, I think that voice. Send her to heaven, dude. These hands shall send you to heaven. <laughs> I see why it's called face scrape, dude. Just face planted her into the ground. Dancing hands. A lot of focus on hands with, uh, what is that, Bagua? These scrapes are rather funny. Chest slash. Right down the middle. Oof. First play. Pelvis kick. Excellent work. This base glow attacks quite effective against Nether Realm only. Wait, are there actually like weaknesses in the game? Or is that again just flavor text? Correct. I'm assuming it's just flavor text. Stabbed right through the neck, man. Through the chest. Head slicer. Oh, shit. I didn't realize we were on a timer. I mean, I should have known that. We've been on a timer the entire time, but like... <laughs> I don't know why that didn't work the first time. We definitely did it that one time. The first time we tried to. But it didn't register. Maybe just do it again. <laughs> I like that combo. That's an easy one, man. It's just <laughs> forward square and then just keep hitting square until it stops. That's my kind of combo. I can probably remember that one. <laughs> Probably. No guarantees. My memory is really bad. Oh shit, I only had one hand. Oh wait, hold on. We need to be on the right. Okay. Triangle, triangle, square, L1, X, forward, X. I keep forward exiting or forward exiting early. Ugh. Why am I so bad? Thought we had it that time. There we go. we had that hard ass combo the first time and then the second one was just triangle triangle square <laughs> or triangle triangle l1 whatever yes that's right when you start throwing the uh the directional buttons and with the l1s that's where i start getting confused Kinda neat. I can dig it. So is this just like the holy version of Raiden? <laughs> I'll be honest, from a distance for a moment, 
before we got close to her, I kind of thought it was Raiden, but I was like, why would he be in the Nether Realm? Also, a little weird why Lay Holy Chick is in the Nether Realm too. I know she said she was using like some special blade to slay demons to purge herself of sins, but still, like, I don't know. Feels weird, man. Stop dodging. Bro, for real though? Thank you. Get wrecked. That heavenly blast one's kind of hard to hit with, dude. Round one. Fight. Trying to remember how to like knock her into the air. There we go. Down triangle. But now that we're done using that character, I'm going to completely forget. <laughs> the, the one combo that I remembered is going to be forgotten now. I have now shown you the techniques for fighting the demons of this place, Shujinko. May this knowledge serve you well. Thank you, Ashra. I believe I am ready to brave the depths of the Nether Realm. Perhaps a test is in order. Meet me at the temple outside of town. I will find you a suitable opponent. We will see if you have indeed learned all I have taught you. I look forward to this chance to test myself. Oh, damn, she runs, dude. Oh, she runs quick. I think she might have been cheating. Didn't she run to the left? <laughs> she just run over the lava to get there? Why didn't she teach us that ability, man? I want to be able to run over lava. Effortlessly. This place is very, uh... Drab. <laughs> no wonder everyone's evil, man. <laughs> There's, like, fuck all to do here. It's just pits of lava, dead trees, like... Oh, it's that dude! Uh, it's, like, Bak Bakra or something? I think it starts so with a B. this is the demon known as Ashra. Your notoriety extends as far as our world. Many of Shao Kahn's Netherrealm allies have fallen to your blade. Plus, he has sent an assassin to deal with you. Yes, I am aware of the demon known as Ermac. I welcome his arrival. Until then, you will serve as combat practice. Well, I was looking at my phone. Did they say his name? <laughs> I missed it if they did. My bad. Slay the Tarkaton Warrior. Oh, they didn't give him a name. Okay. Yeah, Bar Baraka. That was close enough. Do the... Okay, the combos do work regardless of... How do we knock him in the air again? Was it back? There we go. So back and square knocks him into the air. And then we can try to juggle. Fight. <laughs> 
Come on, dude. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> one one. It's fine. Round three. Fight. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. You're so much faster now than you were a moment ago. Just kill him, please, before he kills us. <laughs> Just punch him to death. <laughs> that was a terrible fight, but we won! And your boy needs time to like actually play each character and get used to them before I can expect it to do any to do anything. Like that Tarkatan was not a pure demon, but a mutated hybrid of demon and mortal races. There was not much to gain from his death. Were I to defeat the powerful demon Ermac, however, I would surely ascend from this place much sooner. If while on your quest you should encounter him, lead him to me. It is here that I am most powerful. If I see him, I will do as you ask. So, should I... Is that what I should go do then? <laughs> okay, I realize it was phrased as a question, but I feel like you're telling me to go find the guy. I am no beast. I am Shujinko from Earthrealm, and I am in search of a powerful demon. I have an acquaintance who wants to deal with him. As commanded by the Emperor Shao Kahn, we search for a powerful demon as well. But we are bound together by sorcery, and the lower planes of this realm drain magical power. Our bond, our strength, is fading. We fear that we will not have the strength to destroy our enemy. Why do you say we and our? We will explain later if you help us. There is not much time. I will most certainly help you. What must I do? Help us find a soul stone. A large red monolith covered with ancient runes. We can replenish the magic power that binds our souls together and continue our trek. Do this for us and we will reveal to you our knowledge of combat as payment. I will search for the soul stone. Okay, sure. Soul stone. I don't know if helping give... D uh, demons? Are they technically demons? Regardless, I don't know if helping give them physical form is really a good this idea, but sure. This the soul stone that warrior mentioned. I must inform him of its location. Or wait, for real? I just got here. You're from here, and it's 10 feet away. Like, how did you... Oh, people are useless. Greetings. I have found the Soul Stone. It is to the east, not far from here. We must go there immediately. Come, we will reward you once we have regained our strength. Yes, this is it. A Soul Stone. We can feel our strength returning. What exactly is a soul stone? Many ages ago, the first sorcerers toiled for the Elder Gods, linking the realms with portals. The lower planes of the Nether Realm are quite hazardous to beings of magic. Beneath inhospitable places, they erected soul stones, which restored their energies as they worked. Why did the sorcerers build the portals for the Elder Gods? They were built as a defense from some unforeseen cataclysm. We do not concern ourselves with such myths, however. Now we will honor our promise and impart to you our combat knowledge. Prepare yourself as the power of Ermac is revealed. Hey, training with Ermac. Yet another set of combos for me to forget. Uh, before we do that, though, what time is it? We still got another uh, roughly 45 minutes left. Almost an hour, but I really need to be. <laughs> I was trying to wait until the stream was over because I knew we were getting close, but nah, I gotta go. So 
I'm gonna put us on the break screen for just a moment while I go use the restroom, and then we'll be back. Forward, and then pressing left on the camera stick makes you run to the left. I like that, even though it's technically backwards from the way I think about cameras. Um, but yeah, anyways, it, I don't know. I, I think it's from playing so many platformers and whatnot. I'm just used to that sort of thing. But let's kick this dude's fucking ass, man. How dare you steal my camera and blank? We have come for you, my liege. Oh, uh, that's not fucking creepy. So the guy that makes these games, like the, uh, the, uh, product, Project Lee, whatever the fuck they're called, I can't remember. Anyways, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but he's got a major fetish for fucking zippers. <laughs> in case it's not, in case it's not clear already, like, he, he fucking loves zippers, dude. Like, so fucking much. <laughs> what is that thing anyways? So, in Kingdom Hearts 1, you had the Heartless, right? Um... In Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memory, so you had the, the memories of the Heartless and Heartless and shit. In this game, you have the Heartless. Or the Heartless, fuck. The Nobodies. The Nobodies are, like, the main category of enemies in this one. You do still, like, encounter Heartless and shit every now and then. But uh, this one's all about the Nobodies. Um, which, little spoiler, you end up finding out are linked to... Hey, that's Sora's Keyblade. It's the, uh, the Kingdom Key, yeah. Um... You end up finding out basically whenever a being with a strong heart is turned into a heartless, um, their body is kind of left behind. So the, the husk that is left behind after they become a uh, heartless turns into a nobody. Um, so yeah, that's 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 essentially what they are. That's the that's the basics of it. There's there's a little bit more nuance to it, but that's like 90% of it, right there. Uh, you get orbs whenever you're close to shit. Yellow's money. Other colors are other things. Cool, cool. Hey, look at that. All the blank are back. There's photos <laughs> we got the photos that the thief was stealing <laughs> i told you you were gonna find out what the fuck it was man <laughs> i can't believe you looked it up so soon what's this I you were so close to figuring it out the shop. so we took a picture together i'm impatient you know. i know but holy shit dude oh, oh god hey, you just said photo so roxas tell us about the picture thief not much to say. The pictures were just lying there. Then how do we prove we weren't the ones who took them? <laughs> you don't know. It's a girl. You look happy, Roxas. Do not. So like anybody. Uh, that's, that's not the goy. All right. Oh, I'm back. Huh. Okay. Anyways. Catch my breath. The fighting styles we will show you are but a taste of our combat knowledge. We will begin with Hao Chuan. Hao Chuan? Hao Chuan? I don't know how that's actually pronounced. High attacks. I just realized there's either a typo. There, that's got to be a typo. In the text box, it spells the first word H-A-U. But down bottom there, it spells it H-U-A. <laughs> I don't know which one's actually the right one. I'm assuming they spent more time and effort on the, the fighting style listing on the bottom. So it's probably spelled H-U-A, but still. Weird. I mean, the, the voice acting for this game doesn't lead me to believe that it's exactly... They didn't really spend the most amount of time on. I don't know if this is a, a localization or a native, like, American-made game, but... Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, it seems like, at least for this mode, it was kind of just phoned home. We are in the embodiment of strength. We will now teach you the power and pop of attacks. Long arm fist. Hammer fist uppercut. Cool, cool. Ooh, a heist. Yes, let's go, dude. I don't know if there's anyone else here to join the heist at the moment, but I will gladly hop in that. 
Blender fist face chop. Ooh. Why do we only ever get like 20% damage? I see that popping up over on the screen all the time, like 23-ish. There was only 13. I don't know what determines the damage percentage. Is that maybe that's percentage of like their overall health bar? Choi Lee Foot. <laughs> Sidekick. Successful. Low attacks. Down X. Down circle. Back circle. I'm seriously just gonna forget all of these as soon as this is done, man. I'm not <laughs> like. Gotta be close, man. I just want to see what his special moves are. It's always the coolest part of uh, Mortal Kombat games. Seeing uh, what kind of fireballs or lightning bolts or apparently puke. <laughs> Freezing people, smashing them to bits, you know? That's the stuff I'm here for. Well done. Crew of pirates and raiders check their flintlocks and sharpen their cutlasses as they disembark for Blackheart Island. Poisonous Fog sends half the crew to Davy Jones' locker. The rest escape with a handful of plunder and a tale of plenty. Stream all the steam, survive. Sorry about that, Nate. <laughs> it was good knowing you, bud. I'll miss you, but, uh... Hey, at least I got a bunch of gold <laughs> for your death, right? I like that whirling blade. So it's like a yeah, like a three hit combo in one. Our buddy Endless Suffering loves Mortal Kombat. I, I like Mortal Kombat like as a series. Don't get me wrong. Excellent. I've just never been particularly good at fighting games in general. Like, memorizing combos and stuff has always been a, a pain for me. Growing up, like, I, I mained Sub-Zero. So, like, on the, you know, the original Genesis games and whatnot, I at least memorized his special moves. Um, but trying to remember, like, all of the just normal hit combos and stuff... I just, I can't. <laughs> you just button my, exactly. Yeah, that's <laughs> most impressive. But can you handle style branching combos? See, and I think the problem with Mortal Kombat for me, as far as like memorizing things go, it doesn't, to my knowledge, like the best I can tell, it doesn't have a consistent pattern like something like Tekken might, right? Where it's like, you know, this is punch, this is, kick this is high punch this is high kick on every character and then you can string those together on every character in this specific way wait what what is that <laughs> so we float in the air for however long we want and then oh so we can like fly around and kick and shit wait Budokai Tenkaichi 4 for real like, for real, for real? No, I had no idea, dude. That's awesome. I, uh... That is one of the... The only fighting games that I played a lot of. <laughs> growing up, were the, the Dragon Ball Z ones. And I had all of them at one point. It, well, all of the PlayStation 2 ones. Budokai 1, 2, 3, and then Budokai Tenkaichi 1, 2, and 3. Um, wish I still had them. I'll be getting them sooner or later, of course, but specifically Tenkaichi 3 is worth a, a decent amount of money these days. So I wish I still had it because, yeah, like... <laughs> One of these days I'll talk to my cousin and see if he has my binder of old games because that's most likely where it's at. <laughs> What? 
Back down. There we go. And then... Back down. Back. Uh, okay, and then... This one seems pretty... Special move heavy, this guy. Oh. Looks to be a solid confirm. You've only got to look into it a little bit. I hope so. I mean, the, uh... What were the other ones that they made recently? Not fighters, uh, but there was a, another Dragon Ball Z series of games. Xenoverse, yeah, those are pretty good from what I played of them. I did like Xenoverse. Her Mac wins. I only really played Xenoverse 1. Uh, but yeah, it was a ton of fun. I played through, I don't know, a decent bit of the story mode and then played a little bit of multiplayer with my brother on it as well. He hated me, though, because my character that I made in the, like, create your own character mode was a 100% uh, a melee dude. And he was going for, like, a more standard a build. But he had, like, no way to defend against me because I just chase him down and beat him relentlessly. And, like, <laughs> he didn't have the power to stop me. It was uh, kind of broken, but a lot of fun. She is looking for you as well. She believes you are a demon and will combat you to purify her soul. Her misconceptions are of no importance. You must reveal to us her location. She is near a temple to the northwest. She is waiting for you. Then we must leave at once. Yeah, so we literally just uh, helped power up the demon that uh, Holy Lady wants to murder. Excuse you? Hello. Ow, what? <laughs> I was trying to talk to you, lady. <laughs> I guess she doesn't want to talk. <laughs> Sorry, don't want to talk. Just get punched. That's fine. At last, I will defeat the demon Ermac. Your death will bring me closer to purification and ultimately my release from this realm. We are no demon. Surely you can sense that we are not of your kind. Nonetheless, there must be some evil residing within you, or you could not have entered the Nether Realm. Enough. You have killed many of Shao Kahn's allies in your quest to purify your soul. You will pay for your insolence. So do we get to just watch them fight, or do we have to pick a side? I'm assuming we're going to have to take part in the combat somehow, but... Is it a three-way battle? No. Wait, what? Oh. We're working for Shao Kahn now? Okay. Ow. Ow. It's the block button again. R2. Bro, come on. Ah, dude, come on. Oh, that was so close. Let's go. Button mash for the win. I just worry, you know, a little later in the game, like... <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, button mashing may not continue to be our friend forever. So I do hope, like, if the game continues to get harder, because it does seem to be getting harder the farther along we go, I do hope that it, like, lets us main a character for a little bit so we can learn them. Button mashing has always worked for you. I mean, it gets you, like, a certain... To a certain point, right? Like, that's fine. 
But like in traditional Mortal Kombat games, at least once you get like three quarters of the way, halfway up the the tower, like button mashing can only take you so far. <laughs> I mean, that was just lucky. Get wrecked. Are we gonna become evil? Is that what's happening here? I'm assuming that old guy in the beginning that powered up the, the demon of the nether realm or whatever, the dragon lord, is us. But do we progressively just get more evil the more we work with the elder god? It will take much more to defeat us. And more you shall receive! Okay. Oh, is that the next artifact? The Kamidogu. I'm assuming that's the next artifact. Why it was just laying there, I have no idea, but I will accept gladly. And move on to the next realm. <laughs> if I can figure out how. Assuming if we just follow this around, we'll find a way over eventually. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm, guess not. Okay. Back the way we came to find a freaking ladder. Or a ladder? Not a ladder. A bridge. Maybe, maybe that land bridge is all we needed? No, there we go. There's the bridge. Oh, you got a bunch of arrows in your back. Ow. <laughs> I was just trying to tell you. You got a bunch of shit in your back, but instead, you had to be a dick about it. Can I, like, hit you on the ground? No. Oh, get up. What are we? No, up. Uh, whatever. Fuck that guy. Your fortune has fallen. You've lost multiple times. It was only a matter of time, man. I had to even out at some point. Why have I not seen you in so long a time? I take precautions to avoid this place. It drains me. If my avatar were to stay here for too long, or descend too far into the lower plains. I could be trapped here forever. Your avatar? I do not understand. I am without a physical body and am only able to appear to you by extending my spirit into the realms. It is my hope that I will one day return to the physical world. Until then, I must guide you as a simple apparition. And how goes your search? I have found the nether realm Kamidogu. So it seems. Well done, Shuji. Return to the Nexus and place the Kamidogu on the altar. Wait, so that was years? <laughs> that felt like, I don't know what, an hour? <laughs> I honestly didn't think we had been here for years in the Nether Realm. What the hell's the next place gonna be like that we get summoned to, or I guess not necessarily summoned to, but travel to? Is it going to be another evil realm? I feel like we're just slowly going to descend into madness, man. <laughs> Become an evil dick. That's the path I see of an, in our future. We're not exactly the most uh, honorable of guys, now are we? We stole the medallion from our master to join an evil clan. And then we stole an artifact from the evil clan to come to hell. And then the only friend we make in hell, or the first friend we make in hell, we betray because the evil overlord of hell tells us to. Um, and then when we come to our senses and stop ourselves from killing her, 
we then just watch as another dude basically murders her, stealing, I assume, her artifact <laughs> and coming back to here. Like, it is called... That's a good point, Nate. You're not wrong. It is named Deception. This is very true. Stop where you are, intruder. I am the Elder God's chosen warrior. I have been sent to protect the Nexus from trespassers. Your presence has defiled this sacred place. Leave now or face my wrath. You are mistaken. I am the Elder God's champion. Oh, Stand what the hell? Down. Hold on, guys. You leave me no choice. Prepare to be destroyed. <laughs> My brother never calls me, so like whenever he called me, I was like, oh shit, I better answer this. It might be something important. Nah, he just wanted to know if I was at work or not, because he was there and wanted to say hello. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> See, I wish we could like change form. Like, I don't mind Ermac. Ermac seems fine and all. But like, it'd be nice if I could pick who I wanted to be. Also, I, I feel like this is probably the real chosen warrior, and we're the the imposter. Are there fatalities in this game? I just realized we never got to like the finish him screen has never popped up, so I don't know if there actually is. There probably is, but it's probably just like in the regular mode or whatever. Dick. Oh my god, dude. Oh, let's go. Come on. Let's go, dude. Although that dude's name is just Monster. Wait, what? There's a round three? But I, but I won twice in a row. I guess, okay. Out of five, hopefully. Okay, there we go. Oh, got scared for a minute. That's how you feel when people that know you call in the morning, like motherfucker, right? <laughs> Thought this was an emergency. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. <laughs> Everybody I know knows I don't wake up until like super late. So if you call me at like 6 a.m. or some shit, yeah, I'm probably gonna assume you're dying somewhere. <laughs> this was the next realm, right? We didn't just like go back to Earth realm or something, did we? I hope not. I want to go back to Earth Realm. Oh, I forget his name. The dude that we just decked in the face there. Is 
a interesting looking place. Shujiko, I see you are safe. Yes, Damashi, I am unharmed. Who was that warrior in the Nexus? I am not entirely sure. I could sense that he was quite powerful, but I did not recognize him. He referred to himself as the Elder God's chosen warrior. Does he think he is their champion? If he thinks this, then he is mistaken. As I have said before, you are their champion. You must continue your search in this realm, the realm of chaos. Chaos? The nature of this realm is one of constant turmoil. The beings here oppose order and structure. Chaos is their religion. Interesting. Sounds like the kind of realm a certain person I know in chat would enjoy. <laughs> Hello. You there. You... Stop where you are. You I don't must recognize you. If you are to enter the realm of chaos. Oh shit, we just got to okay. Straight into fighting. Huh? I thought we were going to get some training. What was the realm? The realm of chaos. <laughs> Wait, are, did we just, are we just Ermac now? Like, I mean, I did ask for us to have one solid character so that we could learn the moveset a little bit. So I'm not, I'm not upset about this, but if we're just Ermac now. But I thought we'd have, like, some sort of choice in the matter, to be honest. I'd rather be Sub-Zero, just because it's always been my main. So this dude must be from, like, the newer Mortal Kombat games or something. I do not recognize this name at all. Kick him in the nuts to victory, dude. Come on. I, no, come on. I want to kick him in the nuts for victory. Let's go. <laughs> Nut kicks for the win. <laughs> Kotaru didn't stand a chance once my foot hit his ball sack. <laughs> so what? We got to like teleport into the realm of chaos or something? Is that what this thing is? Can we talk to you? I will not hinder your travels in the realm of chaos. Use this portal if you so desire. I do? Hmm, okay. Suddenly we're playing Star Trek? Uh... <laughs> Hello. Is that a... Ow? On your shoulder? A wraith from the Netherrealm has seized the cemetery in the name of the Brotherhood of Shadow. Such an act is a violation of the Way of Chaos. May I challenge the Infiltrator? I have been endowed with powers from the Elder Gods themselves. I may be able to drive him off for you. I admire your fighting spirit. You are most welcome to confront him. Okay. So who are you? Oh, you're, you're the, the dude whose name I can't remember. Haunts this holy site. Another fool has come to challenge me. So be it. As I told the others, I have taken this patch of dead terrain for the Brotherhood of Shadow. We shall see, Spawn of Hell. Your name is... We shall discover soon. I want your weapon. Can we trade weapons? You can have my axe, and I'll take your, uh, thing. Round Noob! One. That's it. <laughs> just just nut kicks for days! Ooh. Stop with your breaking bullshit. Uppercut is nuts. Let's go. <laughs> Round two. Fight. <laughs> the 
least I know how to kick people in the nuts. That's the only thing that matters, man. If nothing else, I can <laughs> just smack the hell out of his balls. Oh god, oh god, I'm- how do I block again? <laughs> I think it's- there we go. <laughs> there we- <laughs> we got it. We pulled it out there at the end. It's a little close there for a moment though. Where's Cybot? We got Noob. We need the other one. Uh, okay. Where are we back to talk to the dude, maybe? Oh no, it was you. You're Pass welcome. through this gate if you may. We will not hinder you. Uh, not that way. How do I get where I need to go? Through the doors? No, this is just a random room. Hmm. Okay, map time. Oh, God. Okay, so we need to... How do we... Out of the back, maybe. Just... Dude, there's definitely enough room. Just let, just let me go through. God damn it. Okay. From here... And then we can come around, maybe? Yes, there we go. You guys could really learn a thing or two about how to set up a, a town. Like, it's awfully confusing. And come on, teleporters? Like, that just makes it that much worse, dude. You could just have a nice road, a rail line, a, a cable car. <laughs> For these floating islands? I don't know. Choices, stranger. State your intentions, or hear the shattering of your spine. I wander in search of holy relics, madman. I pick spine. Do not block my path. Please let me hear your spine crack. I am Havoc, a cleric of chaos. I would never think of confining a spirit such as yours. Thank you, Havoc. I am Shujinko. I am a newcomer to the realm of chaos. There are many newcomers as of late. Satan guards men, for instance. They seek to restrict the flow of our water, something we hold as sacred. Water was not meant to be controlled. Its shapeless, fluidic nature is a blessing. I make you an offer, Shujinko. Take these four chaos pendants. Defeat each of the four Satan invaders and place a pendant around their necks. The pendants will shatter the bondage of order and reveal to them the perfection of chaos. Only then will they cease the enslavement of our water. Do this for me, and I will teach you the ways of chaos as well. Who are these Satan guardsmen? They are soldiers of an oppressive realm that have come to impose their order. They seek to control and alter our water supply for their own ends. Their presence here is offensive. They're gonna be I Earth Realm. As you request. Only if it suits you at the time. I would not have it any other way. May chaos break the rules that bind my friend. Yeah, almost like it's gonna be some warriors from Earth Realm, dude. <laughs> We're gonna go have to like murder them to bring chaos. Where is the first warrior? Uh, up. So, bridge? It's pretty empty. I mean, all of the worlds are pretty empty. But I like the design of, like, the, the buildings and stuff in this one. It's a little more unique. The Earthrealm ones were just a little too, I don't know, familiar, too basic. The Netherworld... I mean, there was that one little tiny town, but after that, it was just like lava and gray land. <laughs> you do not appear to be a Sadan. Did Havoc send you? Yes. He has asked that I defeat these intruders and place these pendants around their necks. I have been trying to sabotage this facility, but thus far the invaders have foiled my plans. 
If you could reduce their numbers, I would have an easier time crippling their pumps. I will try. Where are they now? There is an invader in each of the four corners of the facility. I will meet you here when I am finished dealing with them. How convenient, man. One in each corner? So that's water down there? <laughs> I'll be honest. I thought that was like an endless void underneath these islands. These premises are off limits. Oh, it's you. We just had to kick your ass a few times. Okay. I mean, we already beat you once, right? It can't be, hopefully, <laughs> can't be that much harder. Oh, God. Round Why'd you change one. us, man? <laughs> Is it just random? I don't know how to nut punch. Well, okay, I, I literally just did kind of nut punch. But that's what I wanted to do, not the kick. Groin kicks for the win, dude. Wait, we got the stick with him. Where's the stick? Yes. My stick against your pokey stick? Oh my god. We shouldn't win with stick. We should have just kept nut punching. Come on, let's go. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, that was close. The next time we go into battle, I'm going to like hold a button. Say R1. I'm just going to hold R1 every time we go into battle. See if it gives us like some form of control over who we fight as. I don't think it will. You but I am curious. Guard. You must leave here at once. No, you must leave at once, you see. You literally invaded this land, man. While it may have been for good cause, in this specific instance, I feel like we're in the right. Until I find out that, like, this world has an infinite amount of water or something. And they just need enough water to, like... So their village doesn't die. <laughs> How do we knock you into the air? Okay, we can uppercut with just down and triangle. And dragon. But that like knocks you back too far to try and juggle you though. Oh god, this is bad. I don't remember any of the combos for him at all. God. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. One one. Round three. Fight. Once I figure out the nut punch, you're screwed. Or nut kick. There we go. Range, I feel like, is bad for us because I don't know how to do any of the ranged attacks. Wasn't it like forward, forward, back or something? Oh, God. Oh God, we're we're dead. Ah, bastard. Okay, it's fine. We got this. But this time, okay. I was gonna say if it reloads, this time it won't hold anything to see if it changes. But no, it doesn't seem like it did. Or will. Forward, back. Down, down, forward, down, forward, forward, down, back. Okay. Down, back does that. Forward, 
circle triangle, for, uh, circle, go forward, down forward. Trying to figure out how to freeze. Ah, uh, damn you. Oh, you can break in the middle of a hold? I thought once you had a hold of someone, that was like, that was it. You know, that combo was going to finish, but. Shows you how little I know. How do we freeze you? I just want to freeze your ass. Ah, you bastard. Round three. Fight. Wait, why do I only have two lightning bolts and he has three? What is up with that? Oh, that's the number of breakers that you can perform. I didn't know those were limited. Okay, cool, cool. That's good info to know and have. Can we beat the other two before time is up? I think so. Each one doesn't seem to take too long. I do wonder what uh, warrior we're going to get this time, though. I must place you under arrest for trespassing. Not for murdering all your friends? Well, not all of them, I guess. Two of them. One of them's still alive. I'm holding R1 again. I don't think it's going to make a difference, but... Do we get Sub-Zero again? No. Okay, so it is just random. Every every fight has its own person. How do you not kick? Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Nice. Excuse me? And the breakers don't seem to regen after each fight, so gotta try not to use them too much. Ah, oh, man, we had a chance. There we go. I don't mind Ashra. She seems okay. Her moves are relatively easy to, to work with. She's a fast character, it seems, which I do appreciate. Who are we going to be this time, man? Ermac again? Who haven't we played as yet with these four? Did we, we never trained under Noob. So we wouldn't be him. We just fight as ourself? <laughs> I don't know if we actually have any special moves, though. Get back to Ermac. Okay. Round one, fight. We know what to do. Not... Kick. Nuts. <laughs> Ow, don't... I don't appreciate the juggle. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, 
Come on. Stop blocking everything, you bastard. <laughs> I fully expect him to break that. Nice. Get wrecked, dude. Is it Shao Kahn, the one that has the ability to transform into other fighters, steal their abilities? And he's a bad guy, right? So, are we, like, being blessed by the same Elder God that he was or something? I, I admit I don't really know the lore to Mortal Kombat that well, but I feel like, yeah, we not so you good of a it. dude. You have converted the Satan Guardsmen to the ways of Shit. chaos. Hello. Havoc will be most waits for you in the town to the south. Again, Bo has seen some shit. Like, <laughs> he's, he's having a rough time right now, dude. Just looks like he's had a little bit too much meth or something. Like, <laughs> you have converted the Satan guards. It's very awake. Of chaos. They shut down their facilities and came here for guidance. I proposed to them a mission in their home of Satan. The realm of order. Yes, he's they very happy about not sleeping in a week. <laughs> I thank you for your assistance. You said you would show me the way of chaos if I were to free their minds. As if I would honor a deal. You should know better than to bind a man of chaos to his word. I will free myself of this oppression. Fight. Oh wait, don't I have the ability to just learn people's techniques from fighting them? Like anyone I come in contact with? Isn't that what he actually promised me? Oh, we rebreathing. Oh, I like the one we bred with. That was a pretty cool looking one. So now we're on meth in a different color. <laughs> oh wait, he is training us. Oh, we were just gonna fight him. Okay, never mind. Make low attacks. Kick. I like that. Down in anything are low attacks. You tried for different eyes? Nope. <laughs> Can't get them off meth that easily. Wing Shi Chudong. Equal pecking? Oh god. Bruh, he can only breed so many times, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. He still has them, dude. <laughs> oh. Back triangle. Square, 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 square. There we go. Fine, finish. Square, square, triangle. Square, square, X. Bro, why can I not hit him? Like, I'm right up against him, but... Sometimes the, the jabs don't connect. <laughs> he looks better and he's happy. Look, at the end of the day, that's all that matters, right? He's happy. You learn quickly. Chop. Low parallel. It was not a low parallel kick. Sweeping knife hook. We call that a uh, karate chop, sir. That elbow, though. And oh, shit, my bad. Looking forward to the uh, Morning Star, man. I think that'll be fun to fight with. Although, I don't know. It might be a bit slow. 
that I actually think about it. The idea of fighting with a morning star sounds good, but <laughs> when I actually think of a morning star, I guess I'd probably think of like uh, power attacks, you know? Slow, but with a lot of damage. Maybe not slow. I mean, the guy is pretty beefy. I guess he knows how to handle his morning star. Toe bash. That's just rude, dude. Dumb crunch. Two-handed swing. There we go. <laughs> that looks like it hurt. Wait, what was it? Just regular X is the launch attack. So regular X, and then we can try to pull off a combo to juggle. Excellent. I'm going to try to remember that. I'll probably forget, but... early, dude. Damn. Come on, dude. Ah, what? Why can I not hit him? He's like too far away. What? No, dude. Mm. Okay, whatever. We got this. Try again. There we go. We had to like walk forward. I was trying to do it exactly how it was listed, but whenever we bash him up like that, he's just too far away to hit. Confused, not confused enough. Snake. And this dude either has really terrible... I think it's actually because of his stance, but it seems like he has terrible reach. We get to learn your special attacks now? Yes. Torso spin? Ow. <laughs> he literally just like, oh, dude. <laughs> just to slide ourselves against the, the concrete there. Has to feel fantastic. Okay, she so got a Fine. a ranged attack. Cool. Back forward X. Back forward triangle. Wait, what? What's well done. The, what's the point of that? <laughs> Is that just to fuck with them? Like you think you can hurt me? Watch what I do to myself. I guess maybe you could use that as a dodge, but... I'm still very confused on what the point of this is. I've done it multiple times. Okay. Oh, 
is the point of snapping our own neck. Well done. They just didn't know what to do with the guy, so like... One. Fight. They were like, you know what'll be fun? If he just kills himself. I was trying, I can't remember how to knock him up in the air. Like after the X, how to continue the juggle. Maybe it was up in triangle. I was trying up in X. I think it was up in triangle. That's where I fucked up. Oh, well, we won. That's all that matters. Well done. Well done? You tried to kill me. Nonsense. How could I teach you the way of chaos if there was an agreement? A structure to the lesson. Oh, I think I understand. I was learning from the unpredictable nature of experience, not from a structured tutorial. I did not realize you had no intentions of harming me when you attacked, and therefore I learned to adapt to what I perceived to be a real threat. You are correct, except I would have killed you if you had given me the chance. I was quite serious. Because you have survived my assault, however, I give you this key to an ancient labyrinth. May it unleash chaos upon your journey. Thanks, guy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, well, that's not good. Is my internet down? Uh, I think we're okay. OBS was reporting zero kilobits a second for some reason, but it's also saying I didn't miss any frames. So I don't know what's going on with that. Either way, though, <laughs> I was going to say, that's the end of the stream for today. Uh, next Wednesday, we'll be continuing Mortal Kombat Deception until we beat it. I think it'll only take like three-ish weeks or something like that based off of the how long to beat. But uh, so far, we've been going through these realms pretty quick, so I don't know. It may not actually take that long. We'll see, I guess. Uh, until then, though, guys, I hope you all enjoyed yourself and our time with Mortal Kombat Deception. I most definitely did. Thank you all for coming to hang out with me for a bit. I do appreciate it. Have a good night, everyone, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.